Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video I want to talk to you about Firefly 3. Now Firefly 3, you know, it's a mouthful of that word, <laughs> uh, it's a personal finance manager uh, and it's one you can self-host and it seems pretty straightforward, right? And it's quite elegant in terms of the way it looks and just how to use it. Some of them, they have so much functionality and it actually makes it quite hard to use. Now, this isn't going to be a tutorial on how to set up Firefly in terms of configurating the money aspect and stuff like this. This is purely on how to get it installed. Um, and we'll be installing it on a Raspberry Pi uh, using Docker. Now, on their website, they do have um, a way to install it, you know, just as a software so you don't have to use docker for the sake of this video we will be installing it on a raspberry pi with docker so on their documentation page um under docker as you can see here there's self-hosted server docker i think uh, why you know host which is just like an all-in-one hosting uh, solution has this on there as well uh, so if you're using that you should just be able to pretty much do a one click and get this deployed but for the sake of docker on their docker page we can come down here and we can see all the tags that they have uh, and you know, you can just actually just straight up follow these commands and this will get a Firefly instance up and running. But you know, the best practice for us is that we want to use a Docker Compose file and you can see here that we have that functionality. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. There we go, that should be a bit better for your eyes. Now, um, what we're going to do here is that we're going to download a Docker Compose file from here and also an environment variables. So what we're going to want to do first is click on this and this will take us into some very small text let me zoom in and what this is is pretty much our docker compose file so what we're doing is if you've seen any of my videos you'll know that a docker compose file is pretty much just our way to configure our docker container so here we're using the latest image of firefly 3 and we are going to be using uh, some volumes here uh, so again uh, if you're familiar with docker you can edit the side of the file um, of the volume and this can be, you know, attached to an external hard drive and stuff like this, but I'm going to be using local storage on my Raspberry Pi for all of this. We can see that this is going to be running on port 80. We're fine with that. Uh, if you've got anything else running on port 80, you're going to have a conflict. So um, if, you know, you want more than one thing running on port 80, uh, you can check out my uh, Nginx proxy manager video and that will show you how to get that set up so you can handle more than one thing on port 80. Uh, we've got a database here which is MariaDB which is all good. You can see here that there's some default values in here we'll want to change like the password and stuff like that. Uh, we don't want to use default values here and you can see here that you know we are creating two volumes and those volumes are going to be attached here. Volumes are great so that if we need to spin up another docking container we have the volumes here to reuse. So what we want to do is make grab this and copy that. Now we want to go to our server um, and SSH into it and then we need to get this all set up. Now, like any of my docking containers, what I do is I make a specific folder for them. So if I do ls, you can see that I have a Firefly folder here. So what you want to do is just make a folder for your Firefly instance. So let's just connect into that. And now if I do an ls, you can see this is an empty directory. So what we want to do is actually make that docker compose file. So if we just do nano docker hyphen compose dot yaml, uh, all docker compose files are yaml and we hit enter. Now all we need to do is paste that uh, text that we had on the other page. So this text here, well that's very bright. Um, we just need to copy that and paste that into our text file, or our YAML file. And now we can see that everything's in here. Um, now what you want to do is never leave default values here. Um, even if it's just a local instance, like, you know, if this is never going to be publicly exposed, uh, you can, you know, it's, you know, it's probably, I don't want to say it's okay to leave default values because you should never leave default database values on pretty much anything um but you could probably get away with it but if you wanted my advice it's no like it's easy just to change uh default values make sure that you know they're not default even though they're locally hosted uh, it's just good practice so make sure you change the password here um and you should be good so we'll save that uh, so if you're not familiar with nano um when you paste everything in here you can just do Control o and enter which saves and then Control x which exits out now let's see what else we had to do so we've got the docker compose file now what we need is the environment variables file so if we click here now this is all a bunch of environment variables so all of this stuff here is pretty much what is in the the backing configuration for our Firefly instance. So as you can see here, there's all the Postgres uh, MySQL configuration that we can change. We wanted to use Redis, which is like for um, caching, really quick 
caching so if this got real big um, it would make load times a lot quicker um, cookie paths domains you know if you wanted to set up a uh, mailing uh, so to reset passwords so if this was publicly available you'd want to set up all of this stuff um, but the good thing is if you're hosting this locally you don't need to worry about all the domain uh, configuration stuff but if you are planning on getting this uh, publicly exposed you, you are going to have a little bit of time on your hands to filling out all of the stuff that you want to use um, and it will be in this environment file but for us all we need to do is copy all of this go back to our terminal and now we need to do a nano.env paste that in and as you can see this is going to be our uh, URL which is just the local host which is fine and we can see all that environments uh, variable stuff here let's save that Control x and now those are our two things so we have our docker file and we have an environment file and now essentially if i do an ls we can see the docker compose we can't see the dot environment because it's a hidden file because it's dot uh, which is fine and now what we want to do when we spin this up is just do a sudo docker hyphen compose up hyphen d now what this command does is that it's saying i want to run a uh, docker compose command uh, which means that it's going to look for a docker compose file uh, in the directory that this command's run from we're saying up so it's saying anything in that file please create and hyphen d means run in detached mode which means that we won't see a whole bunch of text and everything that's been used and that means once we end our ssh connection or the command our container will continue running even after our session is closed which is exactly what we want so if i hit enter it's creating the network for the firefly instance it's creating the database and the app done now if this is your first time setting this up it will take a bit longer because it has to download the images but once it's downloaded the images you should be fine now all we need to do now is connect to our connection uh so the ip address of our raspberry pi that's running this so my raspberry be prior pi i know what the ip address is so i'm going to enter that in um, you don't know special port because it's running on port 80 so you should just be able to connect directly to the ip address so let me connect to the ip address and see what happens all right there we go after just a couple of refreshes it just it came right so now what we need to do is you should be seeing this uh, which is the register a new account um, on your raspberry pi or your host i shouldn't say raspberry pi because you might not be using it and all you need to do now is sign up so let me just quickly sign up and i'll hit register and there we go i am in and now you are connected to your firefly instance so now here you can do is put in your bank name so you know whatever uh, let's put example bank it doesn't really matter and he you pretty much just start filling things out right and again like i mentioned at the start i'm not going to talk to you about how to fully configure all of this because when it comes to financial stuff um software it can go really in depth and it would be um a, like a series on its own but just to give you an example we can put you know a thousand bucks here savings a thousand dollars and hit submit and then that will get you pretty much all set up and ready to go and the good thing is it has little tips here so each page you go on to it's going to kind of walk you through um and how to configure it yourself um but that's pretty much in short how to get uh, firefly 3 all set up um on a raspberry pi using docker if you've got any questions or if you want to see more of this uh please let me know below um otherwise i will see you in the next video cheers bye